Okay, so I'm going to do a demonstration on how to print separations at Acryl Draw with the Print Fabric software. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure the printer is set up and configured properly. So I'm going to open up the the Print Fab software, and uh, we're going to mess around with this Canna the Canna Pixma Pro 100. I've got it I've got it attached to my computer, so we're going to click on that one. We're going to go to Print Settings, and um, for this particular printer, there's a bunch. It's it's going to default to plain paper which is gonna be a real banded light setting. So you wanna change, I found that this, uh, which one, this platinum one right here, Canon Photo Paper Pro Platinum is a pretty dark setting. The resolution, you can either do 24 or, or 2400 or 9600. The 9600 will print a little bit slower, but it'll print a little bit darker, a little higher resolution. Paper size, I'm gonna just change it to A3+, which is 1319. Front paper tray, automatic feed, um, brightness contrast. I usually move this to around 130. It just makes for more accurate halftone dots. We'll leave the contrast at 100. Under options, we're gonna go. We're gonna change the halftone screen mode. You want to keep it multi-black or single black, depending on what. Um, what cartridges are in your machine? For our machine, we have a multi-black ink setting set in there. The ink saturation for this particular printer, I know that it likes probably like a 260% saturation. Line screen, 50, 45 degree angles, fine. I'll change it to a round dot. Actually, I like the 25 degree dot better, let's see. So we'll keep it at that. So we got half tone screen mode, ink, Screening saturation, LPI, the angle, the screen shape, all our cartridges are enabled. So we're gonna go ahead and hit apply. Now our print fab is all set up, ready to go for this particular printer. If you're not sure which settings to choose, go ahead and hit us up. We have we have uh, cheat sheets for all the different types of printers. Um, so this looks good. So now we're gonna close out of that. We're gonna open up CorelDRAW. It's got a regular document size set up here. And uh, the first thing you want to do is go to Window, Dockers, and Palettes. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a spot color palette. You don't want to use CMYK or RGB because otherwise it's going to print a bunch of uh, nonsense. So we want to go to Spot Colors, Pantone. There's your Pantone. Solid Coded is typically what you use for screen printing. So we'll just do Solid Coded. Close out of that. Here's our spot colors uh, um, swatches. You can tell they're spot colors. They have a little uh, little dot in the corner. And then we're just gonna do some simple shapes. And we're gonna color them um, with whatever spot color you want. The printer is gonna see this as black. It's not gonna see it as orange. If you did RGB or CMYK, it would try to break it down into different uh, percentages of color. But spot colors, all it sees is one color. So it just sees, it, it really interprets this thing as black. So, We'll do another, do another thing. So we got two colors there. We'll do one red, one orange. Now, if we want to do this particular box, if we want to do like something less than 100% black, we want it like a half tone. Then um, you can double click on this. That'll bring up this thing, and we can change it to whatever, whatever percentage you put here is that. That's the percentage of half tone that's going to show up on your film. Say okay. So now we're going to get a half tone film. We're going to get a solid film, and then we're going to get. There is a thin black line around here, so that's going to print. That's going to print as well. So let's go ahead and try to print this. Uh, let's choose our printer. We're going to go to the Pro 100. That's the one we just set up. Under color, make sure it says separations. Under separations, you can choose which separation you want to print. And let's hit apply, and we're going to go ahead and print this. So we can now preview the separations in the PrintFab software. Another thing you want to do is you want to check to make sure that your save your settings have been saved. So we're, we're at the A3 play A3 plus, which is 13 by 19. We've got the resolution correct, so everything is correct here. And then we can now we can go ahead and preview the separation. So there's our thin black line. So, so there is one of the spot colors, and there's the other color. That one's going to be a half tone. 
And the reason it's knocked it out is because it's sitting on top of the other color. So by default, it knocks out any color that's, um, if one color is sitting on top of the other one, it knocks out the one that's below it. So these ones are ready to go. So we can go ahead and hit print and exit. And that's going to send this job right to the printer. All right, so we've just got done finishing the, printing the three different separations on the Canon Pro 100. Um, looks really good. We've got the one color with the knockout. We've got, it's kind of hard to see, but we've got the stroke, the one point stroke. And then we've got the 50%, 55% halftone. It was on top of everything. So you can see that it, uh, I didn't put any registration marks on it, but it's registering nicely. So it's all ready to go. So there's your halftone screen, your outline. And then we've got the solid, the solid square. Um, one thing to, I kind of wanted to point out is we printed this on the Pro 100 with the, the all black ink kit we sell. And um, I just want to show how dense the film is. Um, I've got this transmission densitometer here and I'm going to measure the the density of the black and uh, right now it's at 3.49 I mean just for instance an image setter comes in at four so that's it's damn near image setter quality with, out of an inkjet printer so it's a really 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 black ink so that's it that's uh that's how you print um spot color separations through um Braille draw right onto film all right thanks for watching